All right, guys, so now we're just going to do the, the Turkish get up. I'm um, just going to show we kind of alternative. There's another one we do in class that always happens, uh, <coughs> it always goes wrong, and it's always all over the place. There's just a couple of, it is technical enough, but it's just a couple of simple wee points that you want to follow. Um, we don't do the full get up because that would be too much, just so we just do the, the, the half one. Normally we do it with kettlebells, that would be kind of what I suppose what's made it famous, but you can do it with dumbbells. And I don't have any kettlebells here, they're all in clothes and in storage for the class. So I'm just going to use a dumbbell. Okay, so I'll just show you the, the, the full get up. Again, I wouldn't just be maybe too hot on it, but I think I'll have the basics down to be able to show it, I? So there's kind of a few uh, simple points that you just want to be following. So even if you're in this position, you always want to keep this arm straight. And this knee, if it's in your right hand, your right knee's up, left leg straight. So there's a reason for everything, you don't just do exercises for the crack. There's a reason why everything is kind of in points and this hand here is then used to push off, okay? So you always keep riding the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whatever you're using, and then you're using this hand to come up, push off the elbow, come up to here, and then you're kicking the hips up, slide the back foot through, and then you're in this position, and then you just stand up. So obviously the heavier the weight, the tougher, so pretty lightweight here there. But then you just back down on one knee, one side, keep riding the kettlebell, bring that leg through, sitting down, and then gently coming down. So it's a great one for the stomach, we have to control everything you're doing, and it's also a great one for the shoulder. The one we do in class is just a one arm or just half get up, which is basically just to work the shoulder and the, the stomach wee bit. So you use your other hand here, and you're just keeping your eye on your dumbbell or your kettlebell. All we do is come up to here, and then slowly back down. So that's basically what you want to be doing. Just going straight up towards the ceiling. Nice slow and controlled. So you see a lot of people bring it back here. You don't want to do that, especially if you have a heavy weight that's going to pull. And you don't want to be bringing the foot off the ground like this. All you have to do is use this other hand here to push off. And that's the reason you have the feet the way they are. One knee bent, one leg straight. So that you've all a nice good balance and keep it that. And then you're going to just tuck it in and then down. Okay, so just uh, if you can again just practice that and just make sure you know what you're doing so that if it is trouble in any of the classes you'll be able to do it right and uh, get the most out of it and then when you're doing it right then you can start adding more weight, more resistance which means your, your body's going to be working harder and better and ultimately it's going to lead to better results all around, uh, better strength, fitness, tone and all that crack. So um, yes, yeah, so try and practice that so you know what you're doing next time you're in alright. So any questions let me know. Thanks for watching.